Is that another one? Yeah, is that another one? Ah! 47. The boys! Oh. The boys! There is 13 minutes left and we put it. Oh, this would be close to 300 points on the board in the last half an hour. Right, our legends, it is the first night before the Flathead Classic. Um, you've just fast forwarded through, well, you haven't. We've, I've saved you the drama of uh, about a three hour rigging session. As you can see, we are well equipped. We're definitely not short. If we can catch one flathead per rod and reel there, I reckon we'll be absolutely laughing tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I thought we'd do a little, little presentation. So we've got Luke and Jordan here fishing on Team BCF with me. So it's a great honour on their behalf, even if I say so myself. And uh, in true Australian sporting style, got the fishing version of the baggy green. It's the BCF Sammy Hitsky Fishing collab hat made specially for the Flathead Classic. Uh, Luke, mate, come up. Thanks, oh, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was going for the <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang, did, I don't know if I even pointed at it. There we go. Russell, <laughs> Russell Coyne. <laughs> Jordan. Cheers, mate. mate. Glad to be here. Both the lads fished with us last year. Um, we had a pretty good year last year. It was our first year fishing the Classic, so we're hoping to build and improve on that this year. Uh, a little bit of backstory: we've done more pre-fishing this year than we have in the previous years, and I reckon we've caught half as many fish, uh, which is a bit concerning. It's been very, very tough. Hopefully, we're not the only ones finding it tough. Um, we've struggled with both big fish and numbers, and when we've found numbers, they've all been quite small. So. Hopefully, all the fish have just been saving up their brownie points and tomorrow we are gonna go to absolute town on them. If not, we're gonna have to get our heads down and really just grind it out. But we thought, um, being the first night, we're all excited and, and, and chipper. We're gonna go through our rod, rod lineups and uh, tell you what we're using, why we're using it, um, just so you guys can have a bit of insight into a, our game plan and what we're thinking and what we think's gonna work. And uh, you'll be able to watch over the three days as it evolves and changes to the conditions that we're fishing and um, what kind of we're finding is working. So, we might, um, who wants to go first? I'll go last. Yeah, I'll, I'll come in. So. Right up, Lukey's on. I'll pass you over. Right out. So, I'll start. I've got the four rods I'll be fishing. So, first up is the heavier setup, which will be more the trophy hunting uh, style there. So, big swim bait. Um, it's one of those lures where, yeah, you don't catch a lot of fish, but when you do, they're big. Uh, next up is the Berkeley Shimmer Shad. So that's the guy there. We'll fish that when we're going a little bit deeper. Uh, then we've got the Savage Gear Grubs on just one of the little painted jig heads there. So that's more the finesse option in that shallower water. Uh, and then the slightly bulkier plastic paddle tail there again on one of the painted jig heads and that's again fish up on the flats but also just on some of those bigger drops and that's that's me so pretty simple pass it over to Garns like Luke trophy hunting um, little savage glide there got my biggest pre-fish fish on one of those so hopefully you can replicate that and find her again uh, got a little slightly heavier spin rod, about a three to six with the big uh, Savage curl tail grubs there. Um, again, did pretty well deep with that last year, so hopefully you can replicate that. Uh, just a nice light soft spin rod just for the trial. Um, just kicking it old school on the uh, trolling lures there. And then two plastic setups for fishing a bit shallower. Uh, a little three to five, again with the TT painted jig heads and a one to three with one we painted up ourselves plastic to be determined secret not, not, secret it's not for film <laughs> <laughs> righto so i've accidentally bought the most rods which is so often the case um so a few people will be wondering why we do have so many outfits uh, because this is a competition like usually you go flathead you could just take one rod walk the bank and catch a flathead it's really not that hard it's not that difficult but because we're fishing a competition time is of the essence so what we've done is we've got plastics and lures ready for a variety of different situations so if we come across an area that we think there's a, a situation that um, requires a certain technique we can grab a rod 
and just start casting. We don't have to change plastics. We don't have to tie on a different lure. We don't have to do anything else. Just put a rod down, pick another one up. So that's pretty well the whole reason behind all these different rods. They all suit a different technique a lot better. It's just a time-saving activity. I can go, oh, I want to chuck a little shrimp there. Pick up that rod, chuck a shrimp, go, oh, no, that didn't work. Chuck a paddle tail in, do something else, chuck a hard body, all that sort of stuff. So my lineup, uh, oh, if I can get it out without getting tangled. Got a little Xeric flat shad, nice and light, 1 8 jig head. I'm going to chuck that up on the flats early. Hopefully nail a few scorers straight up. Um, like I was just saying, I'm going to mix that up with a shrimp. That's a little Savage Gear uh, 3D shrimp. Uh, I've found the flathead have been really munching that lately. So I'm going to change it up between both the flat shad and the shrimp. If we venture out a bit deeper, I've got my Zeric fish trap there. Fish that down deep. Had a lot of success on this in the past. So I'm hoping tomorrow it's uh, going to work as planned. Again, in the deep, I can swap between that vibe and this heavier plastic. It's got a, uh, it's got a 3 8 jig head on there. That's a uh, better 9 centimeter Savage Gear fat T-tail. Drop that down, jig, jig. Not feeling it, change the vibe. It's just all keeping it nice and quick. If we get up on the flats, I've got the big long profile soft plastic there and a bit heavier rod so I can launch it out and twitch it over the flats snake it along and try and pick off one of those bigger fish if they're around. I've got another really light set up there with a 65mm vibe. Now, I'm a little bit confident in this guy. There's a little saying that goes around in the, uh, in the flathead world. It's big fish eat big baits and elephant eats, elephants eat peanuts. Jeez, almost bloody sprained me tongue. So that means the big fish will eat the big, big lures like that but all fish will eat something small like that. You wiggle that past a 90 centimeter flathead's face, he's gonna scoff it, but you're also gonna catch all those little scorers that you go past along the way. So, might even start with that guy early. Not sure, I'm gonna see what the water looks like first, but it's nice and bright. Chartreuse, if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. So, fingers crossed that guy produces. And then, like the other boys, I've got a nice big trophy hunting lure. If we get confident and we find the right area, we can drop that in and uh, yeah, really try and find some of those bigger fish. But I think the key to success tomorrow, because it is gonna be hard, it's gonna be tough fishing, is to try and tick over a few numbers. So even if you're just getting 40s, 50s, and maybe the odd 60, that's gonna start putting points on the boards for us. So that's what we're gonna try and do. If we do pick up a bigger fish on the way, then Ed cheering. We've got the boat out there, it's got batteries charging. We've got our humble little abode. I think it's about 10 o'clock now. So I think it's time for us to get some shut eye and uh, we'll formulate a game plan where we're gonna head first and then really get some sleep and get focused. Tomorrow is gonna be a big day. So we so I'll see you on the water then. Well, good morning to day one of the classic, ladies and gentlemen. It is game day. And it, uh, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but it looks to be a pretty nice day. We've just launched the boat, it's 5.30. We've gotta rip up to our spot now and try and get a decent position before um, everyone else comes and joins us. Uh, I don't know. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Can't lose. <laughs> Some, something inspirational. <laughs> well, look guys, we're gonna uh, get cracking on this and see if we can't. Just reading the sign. Oh shit, why are they got there? Yeah. Right up, we're out of here. All right up, woo! <laughs> um, we got half an hour before kickoff and uh, yeah, we're just, Chilling, waiting, watching all these boats kicking around. I've seen a few other big players sitting in some different spots, so you gotta take that into consideration. There might be good numbers of fish down that way, so you gotta, gotta keep that in mind when you're uh, looking for somewhere to go next after your, kinda, your first spot is, uh, has been well and truly fished. Lads, how are we feeling? Yeah. Oh, no. oh. There's, not, there's not many people up here. <laughs> that could be good. <laughs> Don't do that to us now. We discussed it all last night. We're like, yeah, I'm, man no, I'm we're managing here. expectations. You got to start somewhere, so you got 10 hours of fishing time, so you just got to keep chipping away, keep lures in the water, and fingers crossed you get one past a flat fish's head sooner or later. 32 minutes. <laughs> we'll just talk amongst minutes. ourselves until then. <laughs> two seconds. Three, two, one. Hey. Good luck to us. For invitational. Do we want to sit out here or move uh, in? I reckon probably maybe in just a touch. They're going to be 
pushing up with that tide. Well, guys, it is start fishing time. And we are just about to put our first cast in. We're just going to move in a bit closer. Okay, we've already got a cast in the water. Are you on? It's because this is a comp, it's going to be pretty hard to film every little hit and everything like that. So we're just going to have to make do with the footage we can get. But we'll try and keep you updated along the way. We're five minutes in. We haven't had a hit yet, but that's all right. Just about to start working our way down this bank here. Anyone on net? Well, Luke is onto our first fish. Oh, he's oh, I think it's a, uh, a five-pointer. You, Mate, hopefully he's starting bigger things to come. Give us a look at him. A little tagger. A little tagger. Nice, yeah. mate. On the board. Sammy Hitsky. Oh, I don't talk, think so. I don't think so. Him, mate. Another little five-pointer, I think. He'll be close. Oh, I think oh, he'll, he'll be close. Go. Is he, or is he 39? Nah, he's He's 39. Oh no. Watch there you go. Heartbreak. Man, you'll get him there. Close. Close. Two centimetres off. What a bugger. Yep. Oh. Oh. No, I reckon he'll go. I reckon he'll go. Garns. Oh, head down, head down. Yes, mate. On the board. My what? There behind me. Nice. I'm going to see if he's a yeah. scorer. I reckon he might be close. Nice, mate. So three fish, or get him on the thing first. Three fish so far. We're hoping this will be our first scorer. We've had five pointers, and then Garns has got this little guy. Oh no, he'll definitely go. Yeah. I think we've got our first scorer, guys. Yes! Garns has got our first scorer of just over 40. You ripper, mate. Put it there. Good stuff, mate, good. good stuff. All right. We've got some formalities to attend to, but uh, it's good to be on the board. We're at 50 points, you! Sammy with another. Dono, Dono. It's small. I reckon 30, 38, mate. Yeah. 39. You're kidding me. Oh, that's that's a 35 point difference. Looks on a nice one here. Nice mate. Nice. Hopefully, hopefully see this one and it's a uh, don't don't give him too much slack. Nice Lukey. Nice mate. There's a bit of leader. Let's look at him. It's a pearl. It's a pearl. Get back in there boys, just yes, get in there. We are in a bite time. Oh, that's a 50 for Luke there. That's an absolute cracker of fish. We're stoked with that. Awesome start. A live update. Luke's just landed another a, another 45 or a 50, 45. And that's our third scorer. Luke, mate. How's that? Bloody <laughs> ripper. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, I'm taking the uh, the long road to get points. Another 38. Look at that. An extra two centimeters, and we'd be absolutely flying on heaps of these fish. But uh, yeah, too small. <sighs> Look, I don't know if this is the ideal situation, but they're getting smaller. Have a go, at this little guy. What a little cutie! Love to see him about 90 centimeters bigger. <laughs> Tiny. But we're chipping away, which is good. We're still catching fish. We're uh, an hour and a half in, and um, yeah, we've got we've almost got ten fish. I think we're on eight fish now. So um, three of them nice scores. We're kind of just having to plug away through the little guys. They're, they're only five points, but um, you know, at least we're catching fish. I think. Oh, we pegged this as being a pretty tough classic. So if we're still putting fish in the boat, that's still scorers. Um, if they're small, that's fine. We'll just work through them and try and find those bigger girls as we uh, as we get through. But good start this is a good start for us we're happy we're happy we're smiling three scorers and i think that's number six on the undersize so nine got to keep going though better fish timber yeah it feels like feels like a nice one just trying to keep his head down luke just use the you don't need to yeah i haven't had a look at him yet oh, he doesn't feel massive but there's a bit of weight there so just trying to keep oh yeah oh that's not bad Oh, stressful, stressful. In we go. Yeah. Yes! That's a scorer! Oh, yes! I'm gonna get in there. Let me see him, boat. That was, uh, that was the one I wanted. 
Now we're up to four scorers and like seven All buddy undersized. Yes! Right. He's just playing him. Nah. Oh, oh, another one, another one, another one. There's a big girl up there then. Little males. Don't know if I got that on camera or not. Oh. Bugger. There was two fish up there, one fish just followed Luke's up and uh, that means there might be a big girl. Usually this time of the year, the males stick around the big girls, um, just like in the nightclubs. That's another undersized fish, but there's more up there, so good signs, good signs. Well, I've figured out my, um, my game plan is to catch as many small fish as possible and just grind my way to a million. I only need 200,000... 200,000 flooded to get a million points. How many do I need to get 200? 200,000? No, 200 points. Oh, 40? I need 40 flathead. I'm a quarter of the way there. Or you could catch an 80. Or I could catch one fish. But no, because I like catching fish so much, I'm going to continue to catch ones this big and just grind my way there. That's the way to do it, you guys. Constant action. Well, guys, little video update for you. Actually, it's not a video update, you're watching the video. Little classic update. It is currently 12.37, and probably since we last spoke, we haven't caught another scorer. Um, it's quietened right, right down. So we're currently in the process of just going to our spots where we've pulled fish before, hitting them for hard for 20 minutes, then jump spotting to the next. Um, thus far, it hasn't produced, but look, we've got a few more spots up our sleeve, so hopefully, we can just grind out another one or two scorers until we start getting to that um, that, that run out tide. And then uh, hopefully we can go grind some more out because we've got a few spots on the run out, but at the moment she's slowed right, right down. And hopefully it's the same across the board. Otherwise we're gonna get left behind, but you know, that's fishing. We're doing our, doing our best and um, yeah, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Well, ladies and gents, after one of the strongest starts we've ever had, 16 flathead in the first like two and a bit hours we literally did not boat another fish we fished for seven and a half hours without boating a fish we had two um i got two brim in the meantime which uh the probably least desirable thing you could hook while flathead trolling we're having a troll because they feel like a small flathead even for small flathead is a is a good flathead when you haven't caught caught one for six hours then Luke dropped a legal beside the boat, or the hooks pull out, and he hooked another good fish, and the hooks pulled out as well. So we did uh, we did not get our roll of the dice for those fish, but what can you do? Hope fingers crossed everyone else did it that tough. It's uh, stop fishing now. We're starting to motor back to the ramp, but um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how everyone else went because uh, we found it very very challenging. We just couldn't those in between fish that we sometimes pick up we just couldn't find they wouldn't bite they weren't in the spots where we thought they would be so day one got the better of us we hope unless everyone else got 200 <laughs> 200 i think we got about 275 points which is pretty well half as much oh a bit over half a bit less than half as what we got last year day one so look we um yeah with a bit of luck everyone's doing it super duper tough or we're in big trouble so we're, we're going to formulate another game plan for tonight, and uh, yeah, day two come at us. But yeah, we'll catch up with you tonight. We'll uh, have another debrief and see what's going on. See what we're going to change different. I think we're pretty set on our techniques. It's just uh, got to get them in some mouths and some fish. It's tough going. Anyways, time to hit the gas and get out of here. Well, we lied. We didn't catch up with you last night. We were deep in team strategy. Um, we set up everything to go fish the deep straight up this morning. Then we got up this morning and we changed our mind. But we think we've made the right decision. We've got 20 minutes till kick off and we're, uh, we've got a nice low tide and we're gonna fish some drains. Uh, this is something we wanted to do yesterday but the tide was too high when we tried to do it. We've caught fish here before in pre-fish so it's just a matter of them still being here and uh, still in feeding mode and ready to rock and roll. But, oh. There's a bit of bait moving around, it it's, uh, looks good out here. But yeah, so that's the whack up. We changed all our stuff back to a bit shallow mode. Then we're gonna go after here, 
we'll do a quick troll run. We've got a couple of little troll runs that we want to do, which um, with all this water off the flats, they should be, fish should be pretty concentrated. Fingers crossed. And then, um, yeah, and then worst comes to worst, we'll get out there and we'll just grind away in the deep and see if we can't get some big girls and just chip away at the numbers that way. But that's our new game plan. Fingers crossed it works. Uh, we ended up on 295 or 94 points last night, which is not great. But today is a new day. Um, I'm starting on very similar, pl uh, we're all starting on pretty similar plastics we started on yesterday, just small, small natural, small little paddle tail things. So uh, hopefully we'll show them to you once they're sticking out of a big fish's mouth. Anyways, we're gonna get ourselves ready and uh, there's not much more else to say. First game plan didn't work and we've just got our first five pointer of the day. A bit short. Oh, well. It's happening again. No, not again. <laughs> <laughs> not again! In similar fashion to yesterday, Garns has caught a scorer and it's just 40. Again, we're pretty sure it's the same fish from yesterday plus a little midnight snack and he's grown 20 mil or 22 mil. Doesn't bode well for the rest of the day for me. Um, it's pretty slow after that yesterday. That's alright. That's alright. That's 45 points for the day. Sammy dragging the chain. Boys, taking care of business. Well, Garns is paying for himself today. That's uh, scorer number two. Hopefully. Yeah, the boys. Yes. Yeah, y'all. Jordan's just demonstrating what to do when you get spiked by a flathead, and that's uh, rub your finger on its belly, and apparently that's meant to work. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's working at the moment. <laughs> There's enough blood that it's... Uh... Oh. <laughs> it's embarrassing. But that is a... Um... That's our third 40. We had an unfortunate series of events where we had, we had a nice fish on, it would have been maybe high 40s, possibly 50, fall off at the net. Um, the emotions are still raw. It's quite times. Garns is onto a real nice fish here. The big fella's on fire and we're following him in there around the boat. We are a little bit nervous. How are you feeling, Garns? Mate, I'm shaking. He's shaking, I'm shaking. <laughs> We're all shaking. Alright, lick you up on him. Here. Alright, we're, we're good. Turn it off, turn it off. Alright, I got it. Yep. Oh, he's a real nice fish. She's an absolute horse. Watch, watch him if he goes down. Lucky, lucky. Don't rush this guys. Just good hook set. It's huge. It's huge. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god, have a go at the size of this one. Oh, oh I'm using 10 pound leader. <laughs> this oh. thing has got to be close to 90 centimeters. It is an absolute Beast among us. Um, we needed that so bad. Everywhere. That's yeah. right. Oh, it's only 83. I don't care. <laughs> that's that's yesterday's point score. <laughs> that's 83, so that's 214 points. Garnsey. Little backstory. Garns needed to do this because he, he bluffed the net shot on my 50. And I forgive him so much right now. <laughs> Oh my! Oh my! Yep. That is 83 centimeters of flatty classic flatty, and we needed that so bad. Gandhi's on a hot streak, so we're going to get him back fishing because we can't catch him, but he's he's getting him in. So we're going to keep going. Have a go at that. Do a bit of a pan of that. Look at the width on that fish. Big dusky flathead. Free jelly. 
I don't know if he will. I don't know if he will. They really use that current to their advantage, don't they? Yeah, 41. 40, 42. What's that one on? A little chartreuse head and paddle tar? Yep. Nice, Gary. Just having a bite to lunch and uh, Lukey's just pulled an absolute cracker. 66. 66? Yeah, the, yeah, the boys. There we go. Yes. Good fish, mate. Well, I am merely decorations in this boat. Merely decorations and someone to talk to the camera because Lukey is on, on again. What do we got this time? A oh, almost there. 49. 49. That's good points too. Real good points. Oh, this is awesome. Yes. Yes, guns. Hit that Ed snag. Cheering, mate. Ed cheering. It's madness. Guns had a snag. Just about to move. Ooh. Good times, good times. I'll talk about leaving it to the final hour. Well, it's literally getting close to the final hour. I just landed my first little score. I dropped a good fish on the troll before. Really nice fish. I've got this guy here, and I'm hoping it cracks into the 50 range. It's a nice little fish um, on the troll. Tiny little minnows. Pretty happy now. We need two more fish. Right, guys. So the big day two wrap up. Um, we did pretty good. We end up getting 675 points, and um, from we just been back to the briefing and then uh, had a bit of tea. Sounds like a lot of people did it pretty tough. Obviously, there's some some guns who just kill it every single time but um yeah i think i think it was a pretty tough day for everyone else but luckily we had garns on board garns and his magic lure i'll show it like it. so this is the lure that's pretty well saved our our campaign it's a hundred mil savage gear shrimp live shrimp in i think it's glow does it glow yeah, yeah i think so it's like a it's like a Can't green it. it's a green and yellow i'll give you a close up that guy there with a chartreuse greeny head. Man, if it ain't chartreuse. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use, except if I'm using it and then it won't work. <laughs> um, but that caught, how many of your fish? All of them, I think. My under might have been on something else, but I think they were all on this. That's pretty convincing. I'm convinced. So much so. <laughs> yeah. Can't beat them, join them. Yeah. Let's dip that jig head tonight. I'm gonna have to dip everything. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's the wrap up. So uh, we did pretty good. We well, like we slugged it. We slugged pretty hard. Our first plan did not work whatsoever. I don't know Underwater. if I told told you guys that in the um, video or not, but we uh, we fished a little drain and some some um, river system straight up, and we caught nothing. We didn't even look like we were gonna catch a fish. So that was underwhelming at best. And then um, from there, we just ground it out and we got a couple of fish deep. We got a couple of fish shallow. I got one on the troll. I got on the board. You would have seen that. I was pretty <laughs> stoked um, after the net incident. We don't speak about it. We don't speak it. about it. We don't Sorry, speak about it. Yes. Righto, guys. We're going to do some rigging. Um, I think we're going to rig up pretty much uh, a lot of the same. A lot of shrimps. We're going to might fish deep a bit early today. So um, Luke, show us. He's got a little paddle tail that he was using today. Get a couple of fish there. Just, just a glittery white paddle tail, little herring imitation. And he got two of the good fish out deep, as you would have seen. So, um, yeah, pretty well just going to stick to what we did today and try and do it again. If we can get another 600 points tomorrow, absolutely Ed cheering. So, we're going to rig up. Uh, we've got a bit to do. Catch one big flathead and you can't even stay awake. It's I'm eight. Push, push up to out. It's eight thirty. It's eight fifty. Eight fifty. <laughs> Got him. Morning, guys. It is day three, and we are starting deep. We've got a big girl in our sights. We're gonna get it. We made up some good. <laughs> what are you laughing about? No, nothing. Nothing. No laughing. Yeah, I just saw something funny over there. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah it's pretty funny. Can't see it. it. Can't see it. Yeah, yeah. 
we got some points to make up today. We uh, we did some really good point scoring yesterday, so we're pretty stoked about that. We jumped up some places, sitting in 32nd. Our goal for this comp has always been getting the top 50. We've got a taste now, we can see the top. So if we can better our 32nd place today, we're gonna be pretty damn happy. And we're gonna kick that off with a big girl straight up this morning. You heard it first. Guys, what are you doing, mate? I just get my tag out to uh, take a photo of a fish. On the board. On the board. Nice little score. Ew. Guess what, Lua? Guess what, Lua? Lukey's just nailed another score for the day. Let's keep going. Mm. That, one's that one I missed. Ew. He had a hit from it before and he's just nailed it. It's only a small 40, but it's a still good point scorer. So that's First cast on the lure change. First cast on the lure change. A little pal tail. Shark troops. Yes, the boys. So a little day three update. I got a small one before, undersize, as usual. But I managed to get myself a scorer. 42. You ripper. It ain't much for the summer scorer. <laughs> it ain't much. But it's better than I was doing yesterday. So happy about that. Love that you. A little scorer on the board. Second for the day. Always that little mate. Always that little. Nice. That's four scorers. Need a couple more. This Norley's picking up at um, about nine o'clock, they reckon. So, the more fish we can get in the board before then, the better. Oh, get a headband, headband, headband. Oh, oh, nice little scorer, mate. Well done. Well done. Keeping it ticking. Keeping it ticking. Well, there we go, guys. Another fish. Only a little fella. But it all helps when you've got a big wind expected to come in and it's slow down. Check that out. Just caught a little plastic. Obviously caught on a snag. I snagged the plastic and, uh, yeah. Happy days. Yeah, got it. Well, you wouldn't have heard from us for a little while because we haven't caught any more scorers in um, a little bit too long, unfortunately. So we're still on six scorers. But in the meantime, I've managed to put, um, or tally up, five undersized fish. So that sucks because some of them are like 39 centimetres, 38, so close. But unfortunately, the cigar was not mine. But we are down to the last hour and a half of fishing. We've come back out to the deep. We're on Kalinga Bank. For those familiar with the jumper pin, it's... Uh, it's a good flathead spot and we're going to work our way along here really just pepper it we've got a little zone that we've been catching some fish on we just want one good fish one nice little 60 50 even a 40 we'll take just to bump that score up a little bit more oh, in the back but um there's northerly blowing now so everything's gone a little bit quiet but that's fine as long as it goes quiet for everyone else we get one more scorer and um look we'll be ed cheering with that luke the deep specialist how are you feeling Good looking water. I hope, yeah. we, I hope we go all right. Yeah. Are you going to connect with the viewers and pull your buff down or just go full? This little tea. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> nah, it looks good. Hopefully, we get that. Garnsey Cron, yeah? Got the magic shrimp on, mate. I'm ready. Down to our last shrimp. Luke's gone a little paddle tail. I've gone a small little flat shad just for a small subtle thing. Garns is on his shrimp and uh, look, we're just going to grind it. One and a half hours left. I've had a Red Bull. I'm firing on all cylinders. Um, little update for you. We got about, uh, I think we got about half an hour left. So we're down, right down on time. It is cranking northerly. I don't think that's going to do wonders for the fishing. Oh, except for this guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Just smashed a shrimp, well, and that man. is that's. 67 centimetres. That is 135 points. Woo! Well done, Sammy. <laughs> oh my goodness, we needed that one so bad. And I don't know how we got it, but we got to get some admin on this guy, get him back. Um, oh my goodness. Yes! Yes! Well, that's her there. 67 centimetres. You ripper. We needed that one real bad. Gonna let her go now, though, and get back fishing. Please don't bite my, ah, my thumb. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'll probably deserve it. Righto. Oh, she's ready to go. Please let go. Phew. Oh. oh, we needed that one. Yes. Yes, the boys. Yes, the boys. Was that a second 60? Well, I don't know if um, well, I started filming before because a lot just happened. Garnsey Cron, yeah. Look at this. Little 58er. Yeah. The boys are coming home strong. Woo! What a way to finish. Woo! Right, so I'll we send get a couple him home. more. Send him. <laughs> That's 200 points in the last 10 minutes, and we've got 25 minutes to go, and no one else is fishing this spot, and I'm going to keep fishing. We need to get another one. Yes! The boys? The boys? Oh, is yes. that the boys? Is that another one? How is that another one? Ah! 47. The boys! Oh. The boys! There is 13 minutes left and we put it... Oh, this would be close to 300 points on the board in the last half an hour. Yes, the boys! Yes, the boys! Yes, the boys! Oh. The boys! Oh, oh, he's over 50. He's over 50. 85 points. 85 points! That's 50... 55. 55! Yes! yes. Well, I apologise for the wind noise, but I tell you what, <laughs> almost 300 points in the last half an hour of fishing. Woo! <laughs> We've earned a beer. Lads. Cheers, Cheers mate. What a finish. we got to get back in... Oh, I can't even talk. I'm that stoked. But we got to get back and turn in our score sheet. And as you can see, it is absolutely roaring northerly now. It's going to be a bumpy ride. We're still going to do a little... Uh, tackle talk video whether it be tonight or tomorrow morning i have a feeling we might have a few beery poos tonight <laughs> so probably won't be in a um a great informative state but we've got to tell you about the lures we used where we fished all that sort of jazz hope you've enjoyed the video so far there's a little bit left to go but we are stoked we are stoked now we set ourselves a goal every year we don't do a great deal of flathead fishing and you know we don't live around here so we set ourselves a goal to crack top 50 Last year we came 39th, which we were absolutely wrapped with. This year, we're going top 30. We're going hard. I'm calling it now. We are going top 30. What do you reckon? I reckon we got there. I'm in. We were sitting on 32nd this morning, and we've just had an absolute blinder of a day. So, yes! <laughs> Rightio, guys. This is the final wrap-up on the Flatty Classic. Final results are in. We came 25th out of, I think it's 277 teams. So that's an improvement of last year. We are absolutely stoked with it. Obviously, there is like a stack of really, really good anglers who fish it for ages and ages. It's our second year. Last year, we came 39th. This year, 25th. We're on the up, on the burst. We're on the upwards. It's a bloody fly. Okay. <laughs> I didn't get it. If I get it, it'll be on camera. It'll be red hot. Um, and we came fourth out of visiting teams. So fourth out of non-local teams. We are extremely happy with that. Um, obviously, we're going to go back to the drawing board for our day one tactics because that's what really let us down. Sub 300 <laughs> points on a day yeah. and then 600 plus on every other day. We could have been absolutely laughing and uh, had a really good score. Um, Oh, I forgot the flash ad. Hold tight. Lure of the trip. So far it was the uh, TPE shrimp. Garns can show you that. I think I caught just about every single fish on that. So that one on day one before I tied it on. And then everything else was on that. So that's a 100ml Savage Gear TPE shrimp. Um, Lifelike shrimp imitation with a chartreuse head. Uh, Garns used that pretty religiously pretty well the whole time, caught his big fish on it, caught some good numbers of fish on it as well. Oh, I hit him, I hit him. Um, I, yeah, all that. I used the, um, I used a Zerek Hot Legs, which is a very similar thing, but they've got some really glow, uh, not glow, really bright bits of um, paint on the bottom and on the it's tail. Like UV yeah, it's like a UV, yeah. and that's what I got that 67 on right at the death, and also a, um, another fish earlier in the morning. So. I think the shrimp imitation as a whole was the standout plastic of our of our whole classic. Um, the other one that I caught a lot of fish on was the Zerik three and a half inch flat shad. They get a lot of publicity. They are great flathead, uh, flat, great flathead catcher. Um, only thing I found with these guys is you do get a lot of small fish. Um, 
So if you were solely targeting big flathead, yes, you're going to catch them on this, but you're going to wade through a lot of small ones as well. In saying that, we did chuck some big glide baits and all sorts of stuff. We didn't get a fish on them. So if you want to keep your numbers ticking over, something like this will work really well. Luke, you used a bigger paddle tail. How big was that? Yeah, it was. it's a three and a half inch paddle tail, but it's quite a slim profile on it. So it had a really big body roll on it. So a slim profile, but quite deep. So yeah. pretty well imitates a herring um, absolutely perfectly. Um, and that got some really good fish, particularly in the deep. Yeah, that really yeah. shone in the deep. We got some um, really crucial fish in the deep on that, which was awesome. And kind of multiple fish that went, it were casting the same area and multiple fish came to that lure. So they were really liking that in the deeper water. Whether the bait was holding there, that was quite, was, was bigger and matched the hatch or, or what. But the second day we did get them on the shrimp as well. So yep. I think, yeah, we just got lucky. Um, we, we picked the right plastics by the last two days and we managed to grind away. Everyone said it was going to be a grind this year and that's exactly what we did. Oh, oh this fly, this fly is going to cop it. <laughs> <laughs> we get one fly in the house and it's driving me mad. Um, so yeah, massive shout out to BCF for putting us in there. Uh, team BCF will be back next year and we're going to, on the upwards. We're on the upwards, we're on the burst. <laughs> did you get it? No. So massive shout out to them. Um, pretty well all the gear we got we bought from BCF, so if you are looking yeah. to go flathead fishing, head into BCF, see the guys. They'll hook you up with some Zeric gear, some 3D, um, some TPE shrimp from Savage. All the good stuff is there, all the jig heads are there. Um, the fluoro jig heads we either painted ourselves or we used a TT head, head, head that's painted. It's just a bit of contrast. I do like having a bright head on there. I don't know if the fish like it more or less, but it makes me feel better about the lure. And at the end of the day, confidence in your lure is absolutely key. We do have one really cool story to talk about, which didn't make the camera well out the water. So that last half an hour when we were kind of, I haven't actually watched the footage back yet, but um, <laughs> I, think, I, I, I think there's going to be a fair bit. We're of, a little bit excited. A fair bit of beeping involved. We were, uh, <laughs> we're a bit excited, but this thing here, this is the, the what is it? Cracker barrel, mainland cheese and crackers, little bit of cardboard, and we were sitting there, final half an hour. We drift in this bank, and this thing came floating past. Now, shout out to Luke. Luke goes, grab that, grab that bit of rubbish out of the water, which is always a good thing to do. You always want to get the most rubbish out of the water as possible. So we made a bit of effort, leckied over. Where is it? I saw, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, changed, we got out of our drift, and we, we drove over with the electric, grabbed this thing, and we're like, oh, we'll grab it. We need the karma, we need the karma. Dead set within 10 minutes later, we got those three fish, or those, we got 10 minutes, we got the first, and within the next 20 minutes, we had the other two as well. So, yep. pick up your rubbish, and you might get a good, good bit of karma. This is my new version of the kettle. So now, <laughs> I'm just hoarding all this rubbish that I have to take with me on every fishing trip now, but the... Uh, laminate it. Laminate yeah, it, we've got to frame it. I might, I might, trophy, I might put it on the, on the fishing wall. <laughs> It'll be um, a cracker. Um, so, yeah. I think that's, that's just about it, actually. Exciting news, guys. By popular demand, the Sammy hats have landed. Two styles at the moment. I will be doing new ones fairly regularly. We've got this, just the hooks and the beers in the grey. And we've got the full Sammy logo and the beers in the navy. Now these are genuine flex fit uh, Yupon classic hats. Really great quality. They're all the embroidery is done in Australia, so supporting Australian businesses. They will be going up on my website, sammyhitskyfishing.com, very, very shortly. So within the week, you'll be able to grab those ones. Check them out. If you really like the page, grab yourself a hat. Show some support. They're a good quality hat. They're the same ones that we, um, we made the BCF hats in as well. So if you do like that style, probably, probably um, one of the more comfier hats. Does suit the ear tuck if you're that, that way inclined. Or if you've got a big, big head, head like, <laughs> big, big head like Garns. <laughs> He doesn't, he, he's got about that much before he hits ears, so yeah, very comfortable hats. Check him out, sammyhitskyfishing.com. Um, thanks to BCF, thanks to Garns and Luke for sticking up and putting, sticking up? For putting up with me for the last couple of days. We, uh, we had some quiet times. It's good to have good mates on board to, uh, to really power you through those quiet times because it can get pretty demoralizing, particularly on that first day when we didn't catch a fish for eight hours. Just a sneaky eight hours of fishless time. So if you've got a good fishing mate, stick with them because it makes all the difference. Till next time, guys. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Can't wait to see you all again for 
next week. And then see you'll see us again next year at the Flathead Classic. Yep. Like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching. All right. Cheers. <laughs> oh, look at that. Thanks, guys. <laughs>